Hi there, Jez Park here. I'm just in After Effects again and I created this nebula effect which I'd like to share with you today. I'm not going to do a tutorial but I'm going to show you how I did it if you're interested. Uh, but it looks quite nice, quite nice. I, you know, I was quite impressed with it if I may say so myself. And uh, it gives quite a nice effect and it's very simple to do once uh, you know how to do it of course. And uh, so let me show you how I did it. I'm not actually going to do it, I'm just going to show you the, what I did started off with there are three kind of light effects here one here one around here and one here and i'll show them in a moment but each one has a different noise that it's using and if i just choose the first one actually let's go to this one here and what it is is the fractal noise dynamic soft linear and what i've done is i've put a uh, animation an animation on the scale so we're scaling into it it's it's that simple let me just play it and so you can see exactly what I'm doing so basically we're scaling into it here but what I've what you will notice is taking a while and that's because my composition is quite big composition settings 5,000 pixels um, because uh, I, we need to have it that big for a reason I'll show you in a moment and so basically I'm animating the scale that, that's all just the transformation the scale option I say that's all that's not all I don't know why I said that uh, that's the main one the other two I'm transforming the complexity so it becomes more complex as we get close to it uh, because if you don't it just kind of like gets very smooth and the final one is the contrast as well so here it's got a quite a nice contrast uh, on, on its default contrast so I've, I've taken it up to almost 200 there so we've got this quite nice effect of moving through this noise and that is really what sells well start helps to sell the effect of moving through this kind of nebula effect uh, so i've got three different noises uh, really that are kind of similar in this uh, that i think this is pretty much the same as the other one but only inverted and then this one here which uh, is a dyn dynamic twist soft linear Again, let's slightly uh, change the, some of the settings on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this project so you can play with it and kind of dissect it if you want to. So that's the first part. The second part is creating these gradient lights, I call them. And what I did for that, actually, I downloaded, uh, I, I, I rendered some stills out in my 3D software Lightwave up from the flares there and they're things like um, when it comes up things like this where are you glint uh, I've got that on glint and they're quite big they're 6,000 pixels that's probably why it was taking a, a while and uh, they've kind of got glows and that sort of thing and so if you come back to the composition I've just um, colored them so this one here I've overlaid them and you can, you'll once again when you up, when you download the scene you can see the project you can see how I've done it and I've got three of them so I've got a, what I've called a gradient yellow here I've got a gradient blue here and you can see there I've got kind of three lights now it has to be very subtle very soft glows but if it isn't if there's kind of harsh flares it doesn't work so well uh, and this one here is kind of like a line uh, which um, works also works quite well and what I've then done is taken them into a composition and I've screened each one and here's the trick displacement map with the noise in question so if I choose for example the yellow one here this is it as it was in its basic composition I've added a displacement map and I'm using the noise which one am I using there noise basic noise one and it gives you this quite nice movement through as if you're traveling through the nebula and it, I mean it looks lovely I think you know it's a really nice sort of gentle soft kind of smoky hazy effect and so that's the the gradient yellow uh, the blue using a different noise is up here and once again displacement map you can see there before and after and I'm just you can change the parameters you know just to, to your heart's content I guess really and then the final one is this what I've called this gradient streak down here and once again each one is gives this effect of traveling through this kind of noise uh, that uh, the the um, noise l layer is moving and they're combined when they all com combine to create this really nice 
uh, looking nebula effect. So that's that's them together in this far, rather large composition. So then I've taken that composition into just a normal standard HD composition and I'm scaling it. So basically I just scale it up and move th a little bit through it. And so um, you can see where I'm going from, where am I? So 54% there. So I'm not scaling it that much, just moving through it. So you probably could do with a bit more scale on that one to move through. But the combination of the two uh, gives this this rather nice effect of moving through a star field. So um, I will upload that and you can download that and uh, have a play and create your own and, and hopefully do some nice stuff with it. Uh, there you go. Thanks for listening. Take care. God bless. Bye.